Hello there YouTube friends. I just picked up this muscle heavy duty steel shelving at Lowe's for 70 bucks. And I'm going to put that together right now. And the goal is to try to clean up this mess over here in the garage. Beyond that mess, I'm going to put the shelves and uh, we'll see if we could organize the garage a little bit. We're going to do that right now. All right, here, here's the contents of the box all laid out on my garage floor. Total weight 104 pounds. And it says it assembles in minutes and there are no nuts or bolts. So let's get to putting it all together and see what this thing turns out to look like. Okay, the framework has three basic pieces. This long piece right here is the beam. This short piece right here is uh, the brace. And this one here is the post. And they all basically just snap into place and we'll do that right now. All right, now on the post, this little notch has to be facing down because we got these buttons on the braces and the beams and they're gonna go in there just like that and they're gonna lock in place. All right, and the shelving piece, the lip right here has to be faced up. This is where the wood is going to rest on the, uh, that's going to be the shelf. The wood will go across here. So, we put it in like that, and then we put, press down on it to lock it into place. And then we get another one. We do the same thing on the other side. We put those two buttons in the slots, and we push down and we lock them into place. All right, now we're going to put the beam in. We'll put those two little buttons in there. I'll call them buttons. They go in the slots, and then you just push them down, and they lock in. And then we'll get another post. Bring it over on this side. And again, got to make sure that the small slot is facing down. So we push it in, and then we just push it down to lock it in, and that's it. No. All right, so now we're going to put in another brace. That's the short piece. Put it in on the side. Just tap it down, push down a little bit so it locks in. There we go. And then we come in over here. We got another post. Put them in. And you just lean on a little bit, that locks in place like that. Okay, so this is the first shelf that we put in at the basic framework that took all of about two minutes. Now we're going to move on to the, uh, the second shelf. And uh, what I'm going to do is I got a brace piece over here, that's the short one. I'm going to count three uh, notches down, one, two, three. I'm going to put it in there. And then one, two, three, I'll put it in there. And then you just push down on it to make sure it locks. That's locked in. Now I'll take another short piece, another short brace. And again, you got to remember to have this lip facing up. So one, two, three over there. One, two, three over there. Put them in. And we'll just press down and lock them into place. All right, now we're going to put the beam in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go across. All right, so now I'm just going to put another shelf on. Okay, so I made a boo-boo, and part of the great thing about these videos is I make the boo-boos and you don't. But here's my boo-boo right here. In assembling this thing, these posts, this post, this vertical post, and this vertical post have to butt together like this. And then you have to have a beam lock both of them into place. Now the way I have it set up now, if I did that, this shelf would only have two inches of space and you can't use it as a shelf, obviously. 
So that's where I boo boo. So um, one of my pieces of advice is before you assemble this thing, if you buy it, have an idea of how high you want each shelf to be. You gotta know what you're gonna fit under there before you put the whole thing together. So now I am gonna correct my boo boo and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. But this top shelf that I have right here, I have to unassemble and I have to drop this shelf down. And you'll see what I mean. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of wood, shelving out, stand it up over here. Now I'm just gonna uh, take the braces out. Not really a big deal. It cost me five minutes, but my five minutes saves you a little time. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. I got an idea. I want to leave this on the bottom shelf, so I am just going to. Now move this brace down to here. Make sure it goes straight across. Just tap it into place. No big deal. I'll come over here. I'll put this in place. Make sure it's straight across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Fix this one. So my mistake is fixed. Only took a couple of minutes to fix it. And now let's move on. Alright, well, here's my problem with this design. These posts, in my opinion, should just be six feet long. But instead, I guess they broke them up into three-piece sections, like a top piece and a bottom piece. And the problem with that is you have to lock it in like this. See, I have one brace already on and this is going to lock into the bottom and this is going to lock into the top but you really need somebody to hold it while you're doing it and then even when you get it locked into place by giving it a little tap it's all flimsy you know so until you get the whole thing assembled it's going to flop around on you like this as you can see what I'm talking about but once you got that in place, then you're going to come over and you're going to put the beam in. If I could do it with two hands, but that rivet or button, as I call it, goes in there like that. And once you got one in the bottom post and one in the top post, you're going to knock it in place like that. But you can see it's all. You know, I guess once everything's assembled, it pulls together. But like this piece over here, I have it already assembled, but you can see it's all flopping around like that. So, now I have to get this. Again, one rivet or button in the bottom, one rivet or button at the top, like that. And put it in, get a little rubber mallet and you trap it into place, just like that. All right, so I know I'm gonna have a shelf at the top, so I'm gonna put the top 
brace him just like this. And I'm also going to do the other shelf, which is going to be 10 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. And let's have to tap this bottom one in first. Okay, the top one. All right, now I'm going to do cross beams. Alright, so now I'm putting the, uh, the beam in, just like that, tap it in, tap it in, and go on the other side. It really does go get it easy, but as we put it together, it together, I think it's a little on the flimsy side, but we'll see, maybe when it's all together, it pulls it together and makes it nice and tight. We'll see in a minute or two. Alright, now I'm putting the last two beams on. get an idea of how big it is. I'm 6'3". So I guess this comes out to about 6 foot at the top shelf. Everything feels pretty tight. Alright, so now we put the last shelf on. There's the shelving unit fully assembled. As you can see, it holds a lot of stuff. I put the lightest stuff, the Christmas decorations and everything at top, and the heaviest stuff at the bottom. 